Hello there, Sean Poe here. This video is gonna be about enrolling a spouse. If you do decide to have a spouse enroll and join the business with you, the spouse is going to need to enroll with the original enroller that enrolled you, regardless if they come in as a customer or as a distributor. They then could, uh, that enroller, place the spouse underneath you so that uh, the volume rolls up, but the initial registration does need to happen uh, by the original enroller. I want to take you back to 2012 and kind of our thought process and what we did. Um, in our mind, knowing a uh, little about the business, not having network marketing experience, um, we, we didn't know what the right answer was. And I, I can tell you today, there probably is still not a right or a wrong answer in doing this. It's just a different way to structure your business. Uh, our mindset from when we first enrolled, it wasn't to hit Pro 10 in life advantage. It was honestly, it, it was to hit Pro 30 uh, because we knew we would get a second business center uh, given to us as we progressed through the ranks. And then we'd also receive a third business center at some point in time. So our concentration was really on building the business fast and then getting those business centers open and uh, rolling up volume through those business centers to get uh, double and triple the commission checks on orders that were going out. Uh, so with that being said, we did see some people early on that were joining. Um, the spouse would enroll uh, and then the enroller would also enroll uh, the spouse and place them underneath them. And we saw some people being super successful with that. But again, our, our strategy was to get to Pro 30 uh, with the business centers and having a, a spouse position that would have been meant going to pro 10 a fourth a fifth and a sixth time so it just it wasn't what we were looking to do um, as we hit the elite ranks in our first business center uh, they came out with the life venture program which uh, you can now pick from like a jeep or twenty five thousand dollars cash there's uh, some other prizes but at that point in time it was it was just a jeep program and so we hit the rank of pro seven we held it for a year and we qualified for the jeep um, our second business center shortly after that also hit the elite ranks, um, but how the programs are structured, uh, especially Life Venture and the incentive trips, stuff like that, uh, multiple business centers cannot qualify for the same incentive or the same program. So with the Life Venture program in the Jeep, we didn't get the second Jeep, although we had two positions at the elite ranks, uh, the second one being a business center. Whereas if we would have initially enrolled myself as uh, another position instead of uh, building up the business centers, when we hit the elite ranks the second time, we would have been rewarded with uh, a second Jeep. And then the other thing that I, I've seen over the years uh, with the incentive stuff is trips. Uh, the elite trips, uh, incentive trips, you can usually only qualify for one position and it could be a second business center, it could be a third, but you couldn't, you couldn't have multiple positions uh, qualify for it unless it was an additional position as a spouse. So we have seen uh, several elites that, you know, uh, they, they have two kids and one position's elite and they bring one kid uh, with them in that position and then the spouse also has an elite position. They bring a second child for free uh, with that position. Whereas with us, again, having the second position even at the elite ranks, we don't qualify for multiple positions. Uh, the other thing that I would keep in mind too that we didn't understand early on is sometimes when professional network marketers are coming into uh, a company, uh, they like to have uh, positions that are built out of it. And so you could honestly treat uh, that spouse position at some point down the road as an asset, as a sellable asset uh, to somebody else, or maybe it's uh, just a spot that you have there that you're looking to place uh, somebody into down the road uh, that really wants something that's built out a little bit and they have to come in and, and yeah, they might have to balance out that uh, to get it at, at the paid as uh, rank that it, it could be. Um, but that's also something that you can consider is treating it as an asset. Um, again, there, there truly isn't a right or a wrong way to do this. Um, the average pro tens making over a hundred thousand dollars a month. So having multiple positions there uh, At some point in our mind at least it, it's more about helping other people get to that point um, but uh, there is there is uh, definite advantages to doing it as well um, If you do decide to enroll a spouse 
I would do it early on uh, because the majority of the recruiting that we see happen does happen early on in most people's businesses and tends to taper off. You don't ever stop recruiting, but it definitely isn't at the accelerated rate uh, that usually we see uh, somebody come in when they, they're really hyper recruiting. So if you are thinking about doing it, I would do it earlier on. Um, the only exception to that uh, is if a position starts to become super unbalanced and you haven't opened up a spouse position and you're looking to balance out that. So for example, uh, we've seen some people, they've got a, a, their business center one going good. Uh, they open up business center two and then all of a sudden some rock star jumps into business center two and it just takes off. And they can't keep dumping volume into business center two uh, without further unbalancing business center one. So at that point in time, uh, sometimes it makes sense if you haven't opened a spouse position and you're going to strongly build BC one again is to get that uh, spouse position open and then putting new volume underneath the spouse to balance out business center two. So with that being said, there, there's lots of pros. There's uh, not a lot of cons either way uh, to doing it. Uh, you just really got to evaluate what makes the most sense for you and kind of lean on your your upline and 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 pick their brain and see what other people have done in the past and their thoughts on on what they would do now if they had to start over again mm -hmm.